Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I spoke about uh, Friedrich Nietzsche's uh, slave morality versus master morality on uh, some of my videos, and I will use that to show you how that is pushed by the media, which is being a victim, a beggar, a weak person, instead of working to get better, stronger, more courageous and more calculated, disciplined. So I have this article here coming from, actually, I'm just going to use is right the one I want you to focus on the left here. It says, what happens now? Student loan forgiveness is blocked. Well, see, when I do my uh, research, I pick certain articles and then I take a shot of them. So this is how it looked when I picked it. And I'm going to use this title. You see the title over there? It says, what borrowers should do after student loan forgiveness denied. So this is the title. Stop that. It's the same picture as the one I'm going to show you in a second. Right there. The same one. It's the same article because when you open it, it starts with uh, the same BS, which is this when I open it. And when I open the other one, I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to go and open it and see how it opens. All right. Let's see and let's read the first is what? What's over there? It says borrowers let down by the US Supreme Court. And on this one, right here, it starts the same way. Borrowers, ba ba ba, b b b b. So this is the same article with a different title now. So now the title is this, not a big deal. What happens now? Student loan forgiveness is blocked versus mine, which was like this. And I'm going to make it bigger a little bit, like this. Uh, all right, you can ignore that, doesn't really matter. But I will analyze this article on this. What borrowers should do after student loan forgives, forgiveness denied? I expected a strong person. Uh, you know, you're going to work harder. You're going to cut from your uh, consumption of whatever you got. And you're going to start saving money. And you're going to pay uh, every month for your loan. This would be my advice. This is what I would do. But guess what? That's not the advice that person right here and this our article gives what do you think that uh advice is so this person is ronda her name is ronda lee ronda lee is gonna give these guys an advice to be beggars let's see ronda lee ronda yes she's a writer and attorney with experience in law insurance education and government she was an Associate editor of Business Insider, covering insurance and contributing writer at HuffPost, with featured articles in politics, education, style, black voices, and entrepreneurship. So she is an educator, this Rhonda Lee. So, okay, all right, let's see, Rhonda, what you got in your little melon there. And let's see what kind of advice she gives. I already looked over it, and I'm telling you, this is what you should do. It says that you have to go and you have to, you know, borrowers should go to the Federal Student Aid website to find out who their loan services is and their monthly payment amounts. Borrowers should also make sure their contact information is correct and both their loan services website in their student aid gov profile so they can receive notifications from the education department. All right. And then it goes to should sign up for Fresh Start program, can move from their default loan services to a regular loan service, making them eligible for forbearance, deferment, and income-driven rep repayments plans, where a monthly payment of zero counts as payment. A monthly payment of zero counts as payment. So, and then uh, basically it says new income income uh, driven replay, uh, repayment plan. She provides all kinds of things like you go and you do something hanky panky. It was nothing about working. I looked over that and I said, Psst, I'm going to look for these keywords work, save. That were the most important things that you should do. 
I didn't find it. Ronda gave all kind of, well, make sure you do this hanky-panky here. Try to ask these guys for this. Maybe you this over here. Maybe you make sure. But nothing about work hard and save. Don't spend. Nothing like that. And that's the answer. All right, let me tell you what I, sh I would do if I were one of those guys who didn't pay their university diploma. Okay, which I paid as a fucking immigrant with zero money in this country. Okay, with nothing. I had to maneuver to all this hanky-panky. I paid everything by working hard and not spending. Discipline, fiscal responsibility, that's how it's called. So I will start with this. I will look and say, okay, how much money comes in? How much money goes out? And out of the money that goes out, I will say this. I need to eat. I need to sleep, I need to drink water, and um, I need a phone, I need to drive a car. So, I need a rent, I will look for the cheapest rent. I need a uh, car, okay, I will get the cheapest car with the best uh, gallon per mile, per, per mile consumption. I will drive it only to work and to grocery store, that's all and uh, that's all I will drive it. I will not drive it to any, uh, I don't know, uh, hanky panky. Telephone. I need a telephone. I need a telephone. The lowest, the cheapest plan I would get and the cheapest phone I will buy if I need to. I don't need, I do not need um, cable. No. Zero. Out. Do I smoke? I either quit and if I'm incapable of doing that, if I can't do it, then I will just cut from it a lot. I drink uh, <clears throat> adult beverages, stop entirely. Do you use drugs? Don't use it at all. You want to buy clothes? You need them? Oh, you're not fancy? Unimportant. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to uh, walk outside with uh, holes in your pants or anything like that. But how many? You need three pairs of jeans. You need three pairs of shoes, you need about five <laughs> uh, button shirts, you need about three t-shirts, maybe you need two or three coats, maybe a hat, gloves, socks, about like seven, eight pairs, uh, five, seven pairs of uh, uh, underwear, what else you need? Uh, two sweaters, and that's about it. That's your garderobe, wardrobe. Maybe I missed something here. Okay, you use it for all kind of... Don't use it. You're good as you are, all right? And many others, don't go drink, don't go for Friday having fun, don't go travel. You do this for about two years and you're gonna pay most of your debt. Now, if you have $300,000, then you have to extend it longer. Why? Based on your activities. It's of your own making. You didn't calculate then right. Nothing changed. You signed all the papers. You didn't know? Whose fault is that? Do you think that right now, if I can't pay my uh, properties, let's say this, okay? I can't pay it because, I don't know, I go every week and I have some fun here. I drink, smoke, mm -mm -mm, and others, and buy all kind of stuff. I say, you know what? I can't pay it. I want forgiveness. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, there's a way to do it. And if you, if you are incapable to have, let's say, um, it, which I think it's impossible. It, I think it's impossible. To uh, have a job, and by the way, yes, have a job or two. That means work about, I don't know, 16 to 18 hours a day. All right? That's what you need to do, including Saturday and Sunday, my friends. Uh, I know people who did it. All right? Sometimes I look in the mirror. So, anyway, you do this for a year or two, I guarantee you, you slash all that. All right? And that's what I would do. But, hey, I want to get rid of that. Uh, debt because nobody owes me anything. I'm not anybody's victim or only my own decisions victim. Right? If you look at it that way, maybe you're going to do it that way. If you listen to Ronda, to go into the bank, the, 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 eventually you have to get the same point. You have, it's like, like watching your weight. You can't, oh my God, I'm going to do this, I'm going to, no. The things are clear. Physical effort, food intake and quality of the food intake. It's very clear. You eat too much and you don't consume that too much, that's gonna be stored somewhere. Guess where? Right there. 
Not here, unfortunately. So we obviously cut that off, increase the effort, and then you're going to lose calories. Your body is going to consume the extra fat that you have. Don't give me the special cases. Oh, he got a thyroid thing. He can't lose. Okay, that's what? 0.2% uh, of the population of the fat people? All right. And I can give you many examples. No, do that. I would do that. And I guarantee you, I would make it. Unless I have all kinds of other kinds of help. I'm a victim. They, they somehow uh, <coughs> cheated. Uh, yes. Yes, it was on the paper. Yes, I signed the paper, but it was them because I was a victim. I was dumb as fuck. So now I'm smart and hard worker. Please help. Uh, uh, please pay for my mistakes. No, you pay for your mistakes. I pay for mine. And besides, if someone has a gracious heart and they want to pay for it, but that only is going to reinforce your behavior. That's what it's going to do. And you're going to do it again and again and again. But hey, that's your choice. It's your money. Do whatever you want with it. There are consequences. But do not, by law, demand, make it a you know, mandate that we, from our taxes, somehow pay for your mistakes. Because I made a lot of mistakes. And I don't expect anybody to pay for them but this guy right here. Right? But hey, from this kind of view on a society and on life, you have people that would always work and people would always suck. That's two. All right? So that's what it is. I don't want it to be mandated. And these guys are crying that that guy is helping some, taking from me, giving to someone equity. And who's going to get it? The banks. The banks are going to have the payment. The schools are going to get their money. I don't know if they already have it or whatever they have it. No, my friends, I haven't read in that article anything about I work hard and I cut from my fun. You, you can't go like that. What kind of education that is? What kind of behavior that would, uh, would be as a consequence of this kind of mentality? Of the one that you want to work for the government and you want the government to give you and you just stay. You work and they give you. That's it. You're not going to move left or right. And you're going to keep your mouth shut because that's your last resort. If you get kicked out of that, you have to compete with other people and hey, <clears throat> you have to have value at that point. Anyway, my friends, I'm not uh, here to embarrass people, but an ideology, a way of living your life. And that's a wrong way to do it. And I don't want to pay for anybody's mistakes unless I, with a big heart or no heart, uh, get involved in it. I, I don't want the government to come and tell me, you know what, actually, uh, we have to increase uh, taxes. I don't know, it's something wrong. Uh, you got to work harder, Emil. So, what was his name? Katenji, Senji, Beling, Belenji. Uh, what was his name? Again. Where is she? Doesn't show it anymore. Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. That person. Maybe I find her. Yeah, Rhonda. Here is Rhonda. Okay, so she's an educator. So, what do you think her students will learn or followers out of her advice? Mm. What do you think, Ronda? Anyway, my friends, you can pick Ronda's uh, um, way of you owe me or the one that you say nobody owes me anything. Actually, I owe everything to myself. Good or bad? You pick which one you uh, think it fits your character. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.